DynoJet Dynamometers are the industry standard in performance chassis dynamometers. Their unique single roller design revolutionized the industry with accurate results that are repeatable and closer mimic the relationship that the tires share with the road. That's why automotive enthusiasts all over the world prefer DynoJet. DynoJet provides two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive dynamometers with or without eddy current load control. We make two-wheel drive versions, four-wheel drive versions, inertia base only, as well as inertia and eddy current. You can do a pit model dynamometer or an above ground dyno. You might want to go with a pit model if you deal with lower profile cars like Corvettes all the time or maybe exotics. If you need a four post lift for your shop though, you might want to go with the above ground version so you can do maybe a quick exhaust change on the vehicle before loading it up to the equipment. And also an above ground makes strapping down vehicles so much easier than a pit model. The advantages of having an inertia based and eddy current capable dyno is Number one, you get the repeatability and consistency of the inertia dyno all the time. The measuring stick never changes. 12-inch ruler is a 12-inch ruler. Doesn't matter if I put a Mustang on the dyno, Corvette on the dyno, Challenger on the dyno, doesn't matter. My measuring stick doesn't change. But if I need to do some partial throttle tuning, maybe even extend run time a bit because the vehicle makes big power, that's where the eddy current brake comes into play. I can do step, sweep, ramped acceleration files all because I can use that brake. So I can dial in the light load, light acceleration target tables in that vehicle, but also have the repeatability every time I want to just do A to B comparisons. The good thing about DynoJet dynos is they're upgradable. You can start off with a 224 base inertia dynamometer just getting you in the door. You can start making some money with it, add an eddy current power absorption unit to it if you'd like, or even upgrade it all the way to the 424 XLC2, which is our top of the line four wheel drive dyno. DynoJet dynos are like Legos. You can just keep adding parts to them, upgrading them to what you would like. The advantage of an inertia style dyno is its repeatability. It'll do the same thing every time. The only variable on the dynamometer is the vehicle. Your dyno doesn't change, so horsepower shouldn't change unless the vehicle itself is changing. Adding an eddy current power absorption unit to your dynamometer gives you the ability to do load tests. You can do step tests, sweep tests, ramp acceleration files based off of vehicle dynamics or hold the vehicle in a steady state if necessary. The advantages to having the OBD2 interface in your DynoJet dynamometer is its ability to now bring in RPM through your OBD2 port on your 96 and newer vehicle. We can stream RPM straight from OBD2 into WinPEP-8 and view it in our graphs. We can also bring in Spark Advance, Intake Air Temperature, ECT, so we can monitor all the data channels that are required to basically make your tune right the first time, as well as make sure that the vehicle itself is repeating because you're doing the same thing over and over again. The DynoYRT air fuel system comes standard with one O2 sensor, but the capability of bringing in two air fuel inputs. So you can buy an extra sensor through DynoJet when purchasing your air fuel system, and you can monitor two at one time. Since DynoYRT has expansion systems built into it, you can actually bring an additional three units into DynoYRT, making a total of four pumps and eight sensors. DynoWare RT comes with four 0 to 5 volt inputs, and these are true 0 to 5 volt inputs. Those inputs can be used with pressure sensors. You can use them as referencing mass air meter voltage on a Fox body Mustang if necessary, throttle position, whatever you want to use as a 0 to 5 volt sensor, you can bring in through the DynoWare RT analog input. The DynoJet dynamometer comes standard with a 16 tooth pickup wheel. This gives you more resolution during your dyno runs, as well as increased precision when using load control. You connect your DynoJet dynamometer to your computer using an Ethernet connection. You can use that through your Ethernet switch or a router. With having up to 40 possible data inputs by using DynoRT's expansion systems, limiting your DynoJet dynamometer is almost impossible. DynoJets offer industry-leading technology for the performance market with accuracy and repeatability in mind. 
Their unique single roller design and upgradeability make DynoJet the best choice when choosing a chassis dynamometer.